Hi, my name is Martin Tatton, and I am the pastor of Calvary Chapel, Glasgow, in Scotland, in the United Kingdom. I serve alongside my wife, Matty, uh, my son, Luke, and Lauren, who's 11. And we've been serving there in Glasgow for over seven years at a small city center church, concentrating on sharing our faith, sharing the gospel, and just trying to be a light in a dark place. We thought that it would be 10 years before we would be called into any sort of ministry, and yet barely four months later, the Lord done a miraculous thing and opened up the opportunity for us to serve as lead pastor at Calvary Chapel, Glasgow. One of the challenges, or one of the biggest challenges that we have when it comes to serving in Scotland, and by default the UK, is Scotland is very tribal and very much a post-Christian society. And Scotland is one of these places that is very, very hard culturally for people to think about Jesus and think about a savior. For me, coming from Scotland, I feel passionately about getting the gospel out, but I also have a real passion for seeing the people in the church today having a strong foundation in their faith. One thing that was really, really important to see and an encouragement for, for Matty and I is our kids taking their faith and making it real and taking it into the, the neighborhood to the point where they're sharing their faith, they're defending their faith, and they've even had the opportunity to pray with someone to allow them to have Jesus into their heart. So how can you as a church help the Tattons in Calvary, Glasgow, and Scotland? Well, we always want your prayers. We just want to give God the glory. We want to be effective ministers for the gospel. We want to be effective ministers in our local area, to be good witnesses for all the great things that God has done in our life. We always want prayer that we're doing the right thing, that we're really focusing on building the people up in the church spiritually so that they can mature slowly and have a strong foundation so that they can defend their faith. And lastly, on behalf of myself, Matty, Luke and Lauren, we want to just say thank you for all the years of support and your prayers and long may it continue. We always covet your prayers and all the support that you're willing to give. So thank you again to each and every one of you.